The question is, how am I going to tell Mom? April? So I finally decided to show up. Uh, Casey's been trying to get on to him. Yeah, he completely vanished. Not that I noticed. You think if your brother's girlfriend died, you'd get a bit of an effort? I'm sure Heath has a good excuse. Welcome back, stranger. Hey. How's Rax? A mess. He and Casey got on the coast for a few days. And what about you? Where have you been? Around. Well, you're back, that's all that matters. Well, I gotta look after the restaurant. Is that the only reason you came home? Yeah. Maybe we could do something later. Well, that depends on how busy the restaurant gets. So what, we'll just we'll play it by ear, see how we go? Sure, look, I've got some stuff to do, so uh, maybe we should go. back. And you look really happy to see me. That's nice. Hey, do you know how to contact Brax? Uh, he's not answering his phone. That's because he doesn't want to talk to anybody. Yeah, I'm going to need some time off, but there's a special delivery of champagnes that's rocked up. Plus, there's a reservation made tonight. I've got no idea who it's for. Don't worry, I'll take care of it. Not you're in charge, are you? Yep. And you can start by calling me boss, sir, your majesty, god, you know, whatever. But I tell you what, these floors look like they need a bit of a sweep. Uh, you know where the broom is, right, Cinderella? Yeah, I know what you could do with one, too. I'd watch your mouth if you want to keep your job. <laughs> okay. Well, how about you take care of these orders? They need to go to the suppliers very soon. Next week's roster needs a bit of rejigging. Uh, you're a chef down in the kitchen, so you've got a bunch of different resumes to get through. Plus, you've got to find out whose party that champagne's for. Um, can you take care of that? Uh, Your Majesty. Hey, great, yes. Uh, Cinders, we got a party to get ready for, so if you want to do some work. Yeah, it turns out this party is actually for us. Charlie organised it as a surprise. And we're just discussing if we're going to go ahead or not. It's a party. What's the big deal? People might not be in the mood. Whatever. No skit off my nose what you do. Well, babe, Charlie obviously went to a lot of, you know, a lot of effort. I know, and I appreciate it. I do. Can someone just make a decision? The place is booked, it's paid for, and it's not like I can give the money back. Two most tragic words in... Would that be such a bad thing? Well, it would be if I was doing it in like a stalker way. It's just because I want to see you. Well, I gotta go for a surf and go upstairs and make some calls. what's going on with us? I know the girls aren't supposed to ask that, but there you go, I said it. I need to know. We hooked up, we had fun. I didn't realize I was gonna get quizzed after him. Yeah, but you just took off and I haven't heard from you since. Did you stop to think how that might make me feel? No. Right, that's uh, my mistake then. Well, I thought you and I hooking up was a one-time thing. And if you're thinking something else, then you've got to wake up, because if your sister... Oh, I don't out... spend my life worrying about what Bianca will think. But obviously you still do. I couldn't care less about your sister. Look, you and I, it's nothing. Anything else would cause us both a whole lot of trouble. The so what happens now? You uh, put in an application? Uh, yeah, and um, if it gets accepted, then I'm off to the police academy in Goulburn. They've got an intake starting soon. So the kook's going to become a pig. That figures. I don't recall anybody asking for your opinion. Better get used to it, Bondi. That's nothing compared to the abuse you'll get once you're in uniform. Just 
some time with the speeches too. Uh, and that's not your cue to go around the door. As if I would. You look amazing. Hmm, so do you. All right, everyone, a bit of sugar. Hey, missing the party. A sickening explosion of life. Yeah, it is pretty full on. <laughs> it's kind of hard to watch, actually. More for me. You don't seem too thrilled for the happy couple either. Like I said, I'm over your sister, okay? You're not fooling me, you know. But I'm not saying that you still want her. But basically, Bianca had a choice, you or Liam. She chose Liam. Sorry, I shouldn't have said that. Don't sweat it, it's true. I should get back for Bianca's sake. Kind of weird, you know. You got no party organized by a dead chick. Bianca thought it would help her get closer to Charlie. She's been so upset. Rex too. He loved her. That was his problem. You don't believe in love? Nope. More trouble than it's worth. Do you really mean that? Peace? If you don't believe in love, then what do you believe in? You look really hot in that dress. I work for you.